Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching T-Bones Tech and in this video I'm going to be explaining depth of field and how to get that nice bored looking background and your subject in focus. Now when you have a subject in focus like this picture right here and you have a bored background so you can't really see what the background objects are, that is called a shallow depth of field. Now when both your subject and background are clearly in focus, that means that you have a deep depth of field. Alright, so there are two main ways to achieve a shallow depth of field. The first way is to zoom all the way out. So if you're using a Canon 24 to 105mm L lens, you're going to want to zoom all the way out to 105mm. Or if you're using a Canon 18 to 55mm lens, you're going to want to zoom all the way out to 55mm and then get as close to your subject as possible. So in this demonstration, I'm going to get as close to my lens and then try to focus on the 24 to 105 part of my lens. So again, I'm going to zoom all the way out to 55 millimeters and then I'm going to get as close to my subject as possible and then I'm going to snap that picture. So as you can see from that picture, the 24 to 105 millimeter is in focus and just a couple inches behind my LCD screen on my Canon 60D is basically completely out of focus. Now another way to achieve that shallow depth of field is to shoot at a very fast aperture. So f1.2 or f1.8 or even f4, you're going to be able to achieve a nicely blurred background. Now if you're shooting on a wide angle lens, it is going to be very difficult to achieve a shallow depth of field because you you usually can't get that close to your subject to be able to focus. That's not what the lenses are made for. Now if you have a macro lens, you're going to be able to get very, very close to your subject and you're going to be able to blur that background very good. Now if you want a deep depth of field, what you're going to do is you're going to want to shoot as wide as possible and you're going to want to use a slower aperture like f16 or f8 or even f22 that is going to put everything in focus. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Also, I'm going to be putting out a lot of other videos explaining the crucial elements of photography and trying to break them down as easy to understand as possible. So of course, make sure to subscribe to my channel because then you'll be notified when I release new videos. So again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.